with Justin Jackson on the Milwaukee Bucks and Cam Johnson on the Phoenix Suns. One of the only certainties before the finals tip off Tuesday right here at Talking Stick Arena is that a Tar Heel will again be crowned as an NBA champion. When that happens, it'll be the third straight year that the champion has had a former Carolina basketball player on its roster, which would become the longest active streak in the league. Whether it's Jackson or Johnson, they'd become the 18th former UNC player to win an NBA championship, and it'd give those players a total of 36 titles, the most of any school. Between the two Tar Heels in this series, it's Johnson who will play a bigger role in determining the outcome. The only thing hotter than Phoenix in July was Johnson in the Western Conference Finals, where he averaged 10.8 points per game on a blistering 70% from the field and 53% from three. The former first round pick has quickly developed into an integral part of the Suns rotation with his 3 and D ability. On the other hand, Jackson began the year with the Oklahoma City Thunder before being waived after 33 appearances. In late April, he joined the Bucks on a two-way deal that has seen him play in five of Milwaukee's postseason games. Regardless, if the Bucks come out on top this series, Jackson would become just the fourth Tar Heel to ever win both an NCAA and NBA title, joining the likes of James Worthy, Michael Jordan, and Danny Green. I have a rule that says if you could join MJ on any list of basketball-related achievements, then that's pretty dang impressive. If you don't have a dog in the fight with either of these teams, choosing which player you'd like to see achieve the biggest goal their sport has possible seems like a parent having to choose between the favorite child, with how many memories both of these players provided the Carolina fan. Instead, you could take solace in the fact that yet another Larry O'Brien is getting added to the trophy case for the Tar Heels, while Duke is at home trailing by a measly 28 rings.